Hi. In this movie we'll show how to connect SCADA HMI software trace mode to I.O. device using Modbus RTU data exchange protocol. As a device we will use the remote input model M7018R with a K-type chemical wired to its first input. The model address in network is 2. The measured temperature is read by input register in a 2 bytes word with the starting address, this one. Uh, the correspondence between ADC's code and temperature in degrees integrate, this one. The I.O. model is connected to PC serial port COM1 Y isolated automatic converter with the following parameters. Out goal is to read real-time data from IO model and visualize on PC the room temperature. At first, let's download and install a free SCADA trace mode integrated development environment. For that purpose, visit Adaster Research Group website and click on the link SCADA HMI download. Then we launch the free SCADA trace mode development system and using the icon at the left upper corner we create a new project in easy style. Let's start our project development from the layer sources resource where we describe input register inside our Modbus RTU device. Uh, for that we open the menu using the right mouse button and select the group Modbus. In this group we create a new component R in word 4 because we need to use the Modbus command number 4 for reading the input register. Uh, with eventual questions, please refer to the Modbus protocol description. Uh, now we can open the created component for editing by double clicking and change the name of this component to TC Thermocouple. In order to fill the tab parameters, we must recall our task. Uh, the setting port number is kept by default since the index uh, value for the serial port COM1 is equal to 0. Since uh, the model address in network is 2, so the setting address should be equal to. Uh, the setting channel is the starting address of the input register must be set to 0. Uh, because number 3 is the data type identifier and the minor starting address in trace mode is 0. Standard Modbus starting address minus 1. The setting protocol type Modbus Direction Input Format Analog the setting IP address is blank. After that we drag and drop this component to the group channels of our node RTM1. Uh, let's open the created remote channel TC for editing and let's set the flag enable in section processing. In the subsection scaling let's set the correspondence between ADC code and temperature range. Uh, press the button calculate and look how values for the multiplier and for the offset will fill automatically. 
Since uh, the IO model and PC are connected via serial interface, we need to create a new group, Comports. Uh, open the created port for editing and change the setting exchange rate to this value. All other settings kept by default. Now we will view the real-time data from our model on operator HMI. Let's open the component screen for editing and insert this mode logo in the left upper corner. Uh, we should choose uh, the layer resources and make group images. After that we will make component image library uh, and open it for editing. Using the icon input insert one of the trace mode logos to our library. After this operation we return to trace mode graphic editor using the resource icon uh, we'll go to image library and drag and drop trace mode logo to the defined place. Uh, in order to show temperature value on our screen we should drag and drop our channel with the name TC to the argument screen table. Uh, the temperature data are situated in channel attribute real value. Uh, we will visualize the data by means of graphic element trend. Let's insert it to the graphic screen with the help drag and drop. In order to link argument and graphic element trend, we will use drag and drop method. Uh, after that operation, we fulfill the following changes. We change color, thickness, and set room temperature range. From 20 up to 40 degrees centigrade. Now uh, we should save our project on disk with the name MRTU. Uh, then using this icon we compile the project for real-time monitor. This operation is needed in order to run our project in real-time mode under this mode runtime software real-time monitor. Uh, in order to run our project we shall use a profiler built in uh, the this mode development system. For this purpose uh, let's highlight RTM node in project tree and click this icon with the running command. Then click the same icon to run our application. So now we can see that our graphic element show room temperature. Uh, in order to change current temperature we'll touch the thermocouple sensor by fingers and observe change on the graphic screen. Okay. Hence, in few minutes we have successfully connected trace mode to the IO device with Smartbus RTU protocol via built-in driver 
and we have built a simple HMI on PC. Now we stop the profiler and finish our movie. Thanks for your attention. Bye.